All right, so we're here turning the water onto this house that was winterized. Everything's on. It's time to light the water heater up. Um, I wanted to show you guys this one because it's an older regulator and we're gonna have to use the torch to light the pilot. It doesn't have the electronic uh, ignition source. So um, actually, normally it would be in the off position like that. You would turn the gas on. You would then turn it to pilot. There's a little arrow on the top. There's a little arrow on the top and this does actually say pilot on there. It's a little bit old and worn. Then you pull this cover off here. And down here you actually have this little slider window. And you grab your, grab your torch. We're gonna be aiming for that right there. Um, it does look like I'm gonna end up having to clean that burner because that looks pretty crummy. But let's see what kind of flame we get and we'll go from there. You can see the tank is sweating a little bit. Everything is sweating. It is super humid today. All the pipes are sweating. So let's, uh, let's light the torch. Put that, try and hold this for you guys. Put that just like that. And I will push down on that red thing. You can see the pilot. Almost lit, there it goes. And I didn't hold it for long enough so the pilot went out. We'll hold it. Keep that pilot lit for a minute until that thermal couple ends up getting satisfied. Still not satisfied. Now it's satisfied. All right. So with that pilot lit, let's turn it on and see what we get. That's not good. Whoa. Yep, just like I thought. That's that's pretty bad. Let me turn the flash off on you. you can see that there's a good section of that that is not even lit right now. So let us shut this. Let us shut this down. Wow, look at that. That was interesting. Okay. Turn our gas off. Okay, so we will come under here. We will loosen our thermal couple nut, which is regular threads. We'll, we'll loosen our pilot nut, which is regular threads, but the main gas tubing here to go to the main burner, that is a reverse thread. So you want to spin that the opposite direction of what you're probably used to being taught. All right, so I have the, the pilot and the thermal couple disconnected. As I said, you get on here and you want to go the reverse thread. So you spin it to the right to loosen it. And it's not righty tighty, it's righty loosey in this case. So then hopefully. It spins out easy for us. And comes the fun part. So then you want to you know, make sure everything's disconnected, put yourself here, and then you kind of lift and pull it out. And, ho, 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 wow, look at that. Yep, we're a little bit plugged there. Let's go, uh, let's go see about cleaning this out. Oh, I kind of forgot to show it to you, but I dumped it out. And, and you can still see there's stuff coming out of here. <laughs> All right, let's see about, uh, cleaning these ports out but here I'll take this this chance to uh, this opportunity to show you you got your uh, pilot line that comes down comes down to your little pilot here and that will shoot a flame up onto this thermal couple which heats up and then it will send a little millivolt signal up to here and then this contact makes a 
a contact in, in the uh, gas regulator there, and that will tell it that this pilot is on, which then will allow that gas regulator to stay on and keep that pilot lit so that when the main burner calls, this will be able to light and you're not just dumping raw gas into your basement. Okay, back here, we're all cleaned out. I can see through the all the ports. Let's see what kind of flame we get. Hopefully it's a little bit better. And the installation is the reverse. Down in here, you have a little stand that you have to climb you know, prongs up with it slips in just like that and it will hold it hold it right where it needs to be and you come out here you line up all your connections pilot goes on the right side in this case the thermal couple goes on the left side so we'll connect that up and see if we can't fire it up okay here we are again we're all connected up so let's go get that pilot lit and see if we can't get this thing firing correct. We'll turn the gas on. We're already in the pilot position. So we just need to start our torch. Let's see if we can't get this. Here we go. Let's see about getting that pilot lit. That pilot is now lit. We can shut our torch off. Keep holding it until that pilot heats that thermal couple up. It's not quite there yet. It's still not quite there yet. We're there now. Okay, pilot is staying lit. Get the torch out. And with any luck, with any luck, this will light a lot better and faster than it did before. That is a much, much better light. We didn't have any buildup of gas and it, you know, blowing up into our face like it was before. No backdraft. That's what I like. Considering how old it is and all the rust, that's a pretty clean flame. There's still some stuff being blown out and whatnot, but that's pretty good. Now let this heat up. Make sure we get hot water and make sure it shuts off when it should. I also used some of this to check all the joints here, especially the ones that I redid, um, just to make sure that there are no gas leaks. Uh, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but it's good product, makes bubbles pretty well, and it's easier than having to mix up soap and water and dabble that on. So I just did a little bit of that, and everything looks good. Okay, so it shuts off as it should. I think uh, we should be good to go. This is kind of a quick one, but hopefully you get something out of it. Okay, that'll do it for this one. Um, like I said, it's a short one, but hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please remember to leave a like down below. Comment, let me know, let me know what you think. It's kind of a good thing to do. You don't want gas running poorly. That's the last thing you want. So with that, uh, please subscribe. I do thank you for sharing if you do. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.